Tiki Kainga is one of the only marae in New Zealand to be found in the middle of a national park, here in the Whanganui National Park as part of the Whanganui Great River journey. Doc and local iwi have been working together to restore this beautiful po whenua behind us. Po whenua are carved posts that are strategically placed throughout the landscape to show the relationship between people and their environment. This particular space has its own uniqueness and most of us come here to rejuvenate. This is also a connecting point for us all because it, it shows to the world our wānau from Ngāti Inekura, our local apu, can sit down and talk with the likes of Department of Conservation and it interconnects us all as people of Wanganui. Mai taka ui maunga ki tangaroa, from the mountains to the sea. I'm here with Paura, who's a man of the Wanganui River. Nice to meet you, Paura. And you as well. Tell me a little bit about the history of this Po Whenua and how it came to be here. The Po was a dream of our old people to be a clear statement to all others that this is a marae. We formed a memorandum of understanding between the Department of Conservation and the Whanua Tiki. And in that memorandum of understanding is that they would agree that all river users recognised and observed um, the protocols and etiquette of a marae. The Po was a log that was upriver, a big tōtara. It was high and dry in the summer, we tied it and waited for the floods of the following winter. When it was floating, we went up and cut the wire and let it come down the river. This Po whenua was carved by uh, one of our carvers from Tau his name is Kenny Jones, and all um, takarangi you see up there, those spirals there, representing the rapids of our river, Wanganui. All the figurines themselves, they are ancestors, Hininako, Tamaupuko, Tupo, and Tamahaki. <laughs> Well, this is a pretty standout example of what can happen, isn't it? Here. That's right. This particular why it has also had its its ups and downs. But unless you've been here, conversed, feel, and have that affinity with not only the land but the affinity with the people, you'll understand why people are so passionate. <laughs> Tiki Kainga Marae really is an amazing place and it's so special to be in such a beautiful, pristine environment and to have been part of such a special ceremony. I feel pretty lucky here today.